गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स टुडे इज अ डे प्रायर द लॉन्च ऑफ द यूरो सैटरी ट्वेंटी एंड इट इज अ डे ऑन विच एवरीबडी सेटिंग देयर स्टॉल्स एंड हॉल्स एंड देर इज अ मैड रश एवरीवेयर एंड ऑफ कोर्स द मीडिया हैज बीन इन्वाइटेड टू सी द शो गेटिंग रेडी and the demonstrations which are happening rain played a spoil sport and hence the demonstration had to be postponed uh, for uh, some time and then of course they should begin again after some time and uh, i have just entered the hall at eurosatry is beautifully decorated the entry is very uh, you know it's it's very exciting but the most exciting thing which we see is the lanyard which has been given to us and uh, given to not only us to everybody in the show and it is a moment of pride for india every lanyard has mku our very own company from kanpur on it so it's like uh, you know it's it's just wonderful to see india's presence in everybody's neck in very very true hindi it's like a mangal sutra and uh, to go ahead for others who do not understand the word well it's a bridal thread which remains till you are married so i think uh, you know mku is there for keeps at uh, euro satri this is the second uh, euro satri in which we are seeing their uh, lanyards sponsored by them and uh, to go ahead now uh, let me give you the interesting parts of what has happened uh, china is there very small size uh, after malaysia dsa it just sees diminishing absolutely Uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, russia not there we have you uh, two different uh, you know pavilions from ukraine and uh, you know surprisingly uh, we don't have israel so uh, well not surprisingly i think this was expected so israel is not there and uh, we uh, have 41 uh, pavilions now friends 41 pavilions for different nations you've got almost of the european nations even the small baltic nordic nations and uh, you've got everybody from uh, you know uh, asia which means that the biggest pavilion from our side is uh, india and uh, you have singapore technologies representing singapore then you've got thailand and then you've got Uh, malaysia then uh, you know uh, there are um, yeah, there's japan japan has a ministry of defense pavilion and uh, if you go ahead from here the big big wigs of the world uh, in defense and aviation are all there uh, when i use the word aviation uh, my aim to tell you is that that you do have airbus and um, uh, you do have uh, uh, you know uh, Uh, you you do have some of them so uh, they are also trying to showcase uh, anything which is used uh, for dual purpose in the sense that used for uh, army navy air force or army and air force or air force and navy or whatever so that's the reason some of these uh, aerospace companies are also showcasing and uh, the land system companies of course are ruling the roost as eurosatry is a land systems show uh you uh, will be surprised friends that um, mro which is a word very very now it's in today's scenarios become very synonymous with aerospace but you have mro for uh, you know land systems and naval systems too and at eurosatry a lot of companies which are doing maintenance uh, repair and overhaul for land systems are here and it's very interesting that uh, many of them are the ones which you also see at air shows so uh, quite a few of these companies you know have uh, not restricted themselves to one service but they're doing it for uh, the rest of them too and uh, then you have uh, america is there uh, this time the us partnership pavilion by colman is not there the us partnership pavilion this time is by osa which is a show which happens a defense show which happens in washington dc so but you do have colman and uh, colman uh, has its uh, stalls and uh, you know it has its uh, meeting areas uh, so you do have them there and um, i think at the end of the day uh, you know it it's a uh, today is a day when everybody is trying to set up their things now let me tell you about india 
uh, India is here uh, headed by uh, Bell, Bharat Electronics Limited. You have DRDO, you have all offshoots or some maximum offshoots of the erstwhile OFP. Uh, then you have a lot of private sectors. Uh, like I told you, friends, NKU is there, SMPP is there, Jeet is there. They are not in the India Pavilion. They are a little away from the India Pavilion, but then, of course, they are Indians. You have also the Chambers of Commerce. Uh, so that, that has got a few small companies. And then you've got uh, a lot of small ones. And you also have, you know... Uh, uh, precision which is uh, active when it comes to homeland security and uh, uh, it, it is there precision is there which we see at every euro saturday it comes from homeland security and uh, also comes for uh, a lot of other things uh, which we see uh, see them at the defense shows also so land systems is their speciality then uh, we uh, we are expecting a few um, uh, you know delegations so I think SIDM is one delegation which we should be expecting and there should be a Ministry of Defence delegation to Eurosatry like every year. So uh, we have that. Now there are two halls, friends. Basically uh, two halls, Hall 6 and Hall 5. Now Hall 6 is complete. Hall 5 is 5A and 5B. Uh, the Indian Pavilion is in 5B. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we have that... Um, uh, Eurosatry lab and then you've got the um, uh, the, the tell little live TV and a lot a lot of things which you're seeing uh, which are new to this year and uh, the startup lab is there so it'll be nice to see uh, you know people doing things there and uh, people you know startups uh, are of course the culture of the day and um, it's a reasonably okay area so tomorrow will be the day when we come to know uh, there are a lot of restaurants which are being made inside and uh, there's a media center, friends. Uh, in addition to these pavilions uh, and halls, we have a vast external exhibit area with chalets, but most of them are, you know, uh, European companies. So you will, uh, you have the likes of Thales and MBDA and KK and um, you know Kongsberg and Hensold and uh, you know so you have uh, these people have their these companies have their chalets and also that you have uh, exhibits so exhibits will have uh, you you'll see all exhibits friends uh, we have uh, ADU has also put up a photo gallery for external exhibits so if you see that you'll come to know that there are tanks there are amphibious vehicles there are drones there are anti-drone systems then there are, um, uh, you know, Airbus has its uh, area where it has its helicopters. And uh, then you also have, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, MBDA with its missiles. And um, uh, you'll see outside a lot of, the, a lot of vehicle, you know, vehicle, uh, vehicles which are being used for the Indian, uh, sorry, for all the armed forces. And uh, uh, at the end of the day, it's a small area, but it's a nice visible area. And uh, uh, then in addition to this, uh, when you uh, come over from here and uh, you try and go inside, then you find some of these exhibits are also inside. So you have areas for uh, when, where you have the countries and the companies, you also have uh, good exhibits there. Some very big in size, some very huge, some life size, and um, some models. So it, it's it's all getting ready, uh, friends. Today, uh, there, there's packaging strewn all over. People on cranes, people on uh, you know ladders, people trying to put things up. Everybody is working to get things there and their halls and stalls ready for tomorrow. And uh, for us, it's exciting because we get to do this making of the show. And uh, friends, tomorrow we meet again uh, in the morning. It's uh, time to say bye now. And I think, uh, you know, it's um, uh, very nice to be at a show uh, which, you know, attracts attention globally. Uh, Eurosatry over the years has grown to become a very big global show for land systems. And uh, it does create a lot of business, friends. It creates a, creates a buyer-seller platform. Very effective. So, uh, well, of course, the results at the end of the show will tell us how effect effective 2024 has been for it. But uh, friends, uh, it's now time to say bye. 
and uh, we meet again tomorrow morning when the day one of the show opens. It's actually uh, the show opening tomorrow. I'll be just keeping our fingers crossed. Last year at Eurosatry, I had to uh, last when I say last year, I mean the last last Eurosatry in 2022. I had given you live pictures. Uh, of uh, um, French President Emmanuel Macron, who had come to, uh, you know, uh, inaugurate. Uh, are we just keeping our fingers crossed? Because nobody today was telling us the media center was closed because the media had been taken for the visits. And uh, let's see what tomorrow has in store for us. Thank you, friends. Good night. And see you again tomorrow morning from... Park the Exposition Euro Saturday. This is Sangeeta Saxena, Editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, signing off.